What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian G right here, back with another video, alright? And in this episode, I'll be sharing with you guys my hauls from the recent Shopee 55 sale. So let's check it out. And welcome back to my channel, Brian G. How are you guys? Um, hopefully all you guys are all good. Uh, especially our friends so right there in the US and uh, our uh, fellow Filipinos as well who are watching. Thank you so much. We're growing as fast as we can here in the channel and uh, without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So for all of you, to all my subscribers, thank you so much for uh, helping me uh, do this more, all right? Uh, you know, I was at the brink of just, you know, quitting, but all of a sudden, the subscribers just slow was slowly piling up and uh, was actually fueled up to do more videos but anyway uh, thank you um, we're here again uh, bringing you guys my recent Shopee 55 sale haul alright I got two boxes this one is actually a surprise uh, box for you it is actually another um, uh, Funko Pop autograph haul right which I'm gonna save at the last all right this is not part of the Shopee 55 but uh, I figured if if I'm doing one video dedicated to just this it's just gonna be a boring one right so I might as well uh, do uh, an autograph Funko Pop haul plus a Shopee 55 haul right here all right so I got a Funko box uh, this is actually my first time to buy pops from our collectibles over at Shopee. So I'll leave a link down in the description where you guys can check out our collectibles over at Shopee. This is the first time I actually um, um, bought pops from them. Hopefully the packaging's all good. I've actually um, viewed all the reviews uh, from other buyers of uh, the store and it was all good so I decided to actually pick three pops from our collectibles all right and actually I think um, they weren't on sale actually I was just after the free shipping voucher and uh, what else was I after and the coins that you can actually earn uh, if you buy from our collectibles so this these are all um, I can't say SRP, but these are all uh, the same prices, even though it was a 5.5 five sh uh, Shopee sale, all right? So I got three right here, and yes, nice. So um, it all came with a sorter box, plus it's a bubble wrap. So uh, looking so good so far for our collectibles, all right? So once again, my first time to actually buy from them. Uh, I've been eyeing the store for a long time already. And uh, I've been eyeing uh, these pops for a long time as well. I was just actually waiting for like, you know, the Shopee 55 sale wherein you can use uh, shipping vouchers. Plus, you get to a chance to actually earn coins. You buy pops during the Shopee 55 sale. It usually takes a week. All right, a week minimum. So it's seven to ten days. Expect the packages to arrive seven to ten days. And speaking of Shopee 55 sale, I do have uh, the Kiko Toys Mystery Box 55 sale. Although it didn't arrive yet, this came in first, so that is why I'm recording this one first. But yes, I did get another uh, three mystery boxes from Kiko Toys. So expect a great video. Hopefully, I'll get lucky with that one as well. But anyway, I got three sort of boxes from our collectibles. All right there, you go. Their logo. And of course, uh, it's uh, you can check out their website. It's www.itsourcollectibles.com, right? If you want to shop through their website, but I usually shop through Shopee because of the shipping costs. It's cheaper to actually, uh, it's cheaper to actually buy pops from Shopee because of their shipping vouchers, uh, with their coins and everything. So I usually shop at Shopee. I don't really like go through the websites from different stores there in Manila. But anyway, enough talking. I've been talking a lot because I've been trying to get uh, all the bubble wrap out of the sorter box. Anyway, so here it is. My first Shopee 55 haul is none other than it's a Hot Topic exclusive diamond collection of Selena. Right there. 
That's my first Shopee 5.5. Five. Uh, if you guys actually um, watch my previous videos, I actually got the uh, Selena a diamond collection but it was the SE stickered one from our friends right here at Hobby Stock Cebu and finally I got a hold of the Hot Topic diamond collection the Hot Topic stickered one this time from Selena alright for uh, my first haul right there the only difference is just the sticker if you know me if you've been watching my previous videos I love stickers I don't know why it's just I'm just a sticker magnet alright so uh, there you go for box condition let me just check um quickly if there's like a, a significant damage there is actually there's like a small tear right there in the bottom it doesn't really matter probably i'll give it nine out of ten or an 8.5 out of ten i would have wanted it to be a better condition uh definitely check on the pictures that uh, our collectible sent me just to double check if there was like a, a tear at the bottom part of the box but the rest of it is okay all right for uh, the first one it's selena the hot topic diamond collection is it the diamond collection yes diamond collection edition all right for my first uh shoppy 55 haul all right moving on to uh these two pops these two pops right here i've been um, wanting to actually get it as a set uh, I didn't want to gamble when it comes to the blind boxes because it's just a complete waste of money if you ask me uh, this was actually the recent blind box from GameStop I think yeah from GameStop and uh, they were actually releasing two versions uh, two different versions of one pop right so uh, finally I got the uh, two out of four pops that they released uh, this is the uh, Mecha Frieza with blaster all right so uh, check it out it is the Mecha Frieza blaster this is the other th this is the ver this is the first version and the other version is uh, the glow in the dark version of uh, the Mecha Frieza with blaster this is when uh, the this is actually the time when Funko was just feeling lazy about the Dragon Ball Z line. This is actually just the same mold, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just looking at the common version of this. Yes, it is definitely the same mold. And the only thing, the only different thing about this pop from the common pop is just the blaster. Yeah. All right, it's just the Frieza yellow blaster. That's the only different thing about it. And as you guys can see, that's it. That's the only difference from the common pop and like I said, Funko is just lazy when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. Funko might not love Dragon Ball Z anymore. Uh, maybe Funko loves the other animes that uh, they're releasing. Naruto, Attack on Titans. They just did a restock on some of the pops from uh, AOT. And Naruto has been gaining a lot of traction as well. My Hero Academia is like huge right now when it comes to the Funko community and just I guess I'm just one of the few who are left out and still collecting Dragon Ball Z but anyway uh, these are my uh, hauls from our collectibles right here it's the two um, was it called again it's uh, the two Mecha Frieza with blaster one is going to dark and uh, the glow of this I don't even need to actually show you guys a glow shot it's not even worth it the only thing that glows is his blaster right here right so it's a different colored paint it's the matte colored paint so that's the only thing that glows in this pop and that is why actually I didn't uh, gamble on uh, getting the blind boxes because it's not worth money if I buy like six blind boxes I would probably end up there's a huge possibility as well that I might not end up getting the glow-in-the-dark version. And I might end up with six of these. Right? That's how crazy the odds are of the blind boxes uh, for Dragon Ball Z. But anyway, I'm saving the best for last. This has been a long video with me talking. I know, as always. I'm sorry to actually just be talkative. I'm born this way. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> if you don't let me talk, man, I'll freaking die instantly i think kidding but anyway 
This is a very special autograph Funko Pop haul. All right. This is, uh, once again, coming from Boss Moses of House of Ink and House of M. All right, so Boss Moses, thank you so much for getting me addicted to autograph Funko Pops. And believe me, it's definitely worth every penny. All right, so, uh, okay, we're back to uh, unwrapping this one. All right, so uh, it is inside a sorter box. And wait, let me just pull this one out. And for sure, it's inside a protector uh as well so once again boss moses of house of inks and house of m thank you so much for this i love this tv series man i've been trying to actually like get at least one signed pop from my favorite tv series uh back then even up until now all right so uh i'm actually happy to add this finally to my collection just to wrap things up for my Shopee 55 5 haul, plus a surprise autograph Funko Pop haul, is none other than the Arrow, signed by uh, Stephen Amel himself. Check it out! Wow! All right, and there were a lot of Arrow, Arrow uh, pops signed by Stephen, but this one I actually picked because he actually uh, wrote Arrow below his signature, right there. And of course, it is uh, JSA authenticated. I got the JSA card at the back. And of course, we got the JSA sticker right there on the side. And uh, definitely, definitely so happy to actually get a signed Funko Pop from the Arrow actor himself, Stephen Amel. All right. So uh, if, if you guys like, like take a look at eBay, um, this is actually like the lazy signature of Stephen right he used to have like the the full signature um wherein it's like a huge one but after like if you ask me personally if i do a, a signing and uh, i would probably like sign thousands of funko pops thousands of pictures i would probably shorten my signature as well especially for some who actually availed of the special inscription like the dedication and all that I would probably also do a short version or a small version of my signature for sure but anyway check it out guys so happy to actually finally have an arrow signed Funko Pop right so once again boss Moses of house of inks and a house of M thank you so much for hooking me up uh, I'm trying to get a flash Funko Pop sign a flash TV series Funko Pop sign by by the actor uh hopefully he'll do a signing in the future since uh we do have a new set of flash uh tv uh pops um that's recently re been released and uh hopefully he'll do a private signing soon and hopefully i could grab one i'm also trying to get a hold of a daniel larusso and uh johnny lawrence funko pop sign right uh, i think they're doing one i'll definitely like look into it if i can snag one from johnny lawrence and snag one from daniel larusso all right but for now definitely happy to actually finally get the arrow all right let me just take it out of the uh, uh the uh protector right here right just i just want to hold it man imagine imagine wow i mean a little bit dusty let me just blow it off i don't want to touch the signature I might ruin it but it's all good it's all good signed funko pop from stephen abel aka the arrow finally here so uh, there it is just a quick one um do expect the uh five five uh, mystery box from kiko toys it's happening very soon I'm just waiting for the package to arrive but anyway thank you so much once again, click that notification bell to get notified on my future videos. We're pushing for 500 subscribers, so hopefully you guys can support me some more and uh, help me get uh, to that milestone, all right? This has been Brian G uh, with my recent Shopee 55 sale haul, plus a surprise autograph Funko Pop haul from Stephen Amel, aka Arrow himself, saying, till the next video, I'm out!